Okay, so um, we're getting ready, as they say, getting getting, getting ready. Uh, got into town uh, yesterday, last night, uh, whatever. I was back from D.C. In, 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 yesterday afternoon. I uh, picked up my other shirts, my new T-shirts with the Sloan 03 on it. So let's see where, how that is. I'm going to wear them the whole time I'm there. Well, not the whole time, two or three days. Um, also, we, um, I was looking for ready to pick up uh, uh, the Why We Can't Wait book. I want to buy it now um, because I haven't been able to read it because I uh, have other things to do. I was in D.C., blah, 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 blah. So, but I'm going to go up to this bookshop on, 100, say, 157th Street in uh, Amsterdam, or Broadway, Amsterdam, I think. Uh, and uh, it's supposed to be a, a, you know, a black bookshop. So maybe, I, maybe I'll record there, you know, and uh, and pick it up there because I want to support black bookshops. The reason why I found out about her as a, as a, as a woman is because... Um, I, uh, and on 125th, when I picked up my shirt from the guy that made it, you now he went to this other bookseller looking for this, looking for the book because I want to buy it from a black concern. I mean, I can go down the strand anytime to get it. Um, but anyway, at this bookseller, this is a guy that's on the street. Uh, he told me about him and this other guy. They told me about the bookstore up there. I seem to remember her from a long time ago, but I'd never been up there. At least I knew about, it, about the store. Anyway, so that's where I'm going to head off to. And then maybe I'll even just take, take, take myself. And take a break and go to the movies, you know. There's this uh, movie, the the, uh, this, the Brad Pitt movie, the space movie, but it's in IMAX, and I want to. I, I like it. I'm a film. Per, I'm a film person. I'll somehow related to blackness. I don't know how, but <laughs> it related somehow. Yeah, so I'll get the book there. So uh, so that's gonna be be my day. But but when I was talking to the to the bookseller there, you know, he's a staunch Pan Africanist, you know, and he was going through this whole thing and trying uh, trying to define ADOS and whatever have you. But you know, like they all do, they skip back and forth. We try to stay one book so well. But he asked me, well, was Marcus Garvey ADOS? I said, no, he's not ADOS. Sure, he helped the cause. He's an ally. Actually, I didn't say ally. Oh, I got to get back into it. I said, no. He said, well, he deserved reparations. I said, no, because, you know, he came from Jamaica. You know, I even brought up my passport and I, and I, and I said, this is <laughs> I said, ADOS is, a, I mean, think of it as, a, as a, you know, as a, I didn't say nation, as, as a tribe, you know what I mean? He said, I'm against tribalism. Every time you bring up something, you know, they jump on a word, whatever happens. So you got to be uh, careful when you debate. But I was trying to explain to the brother, look, if you pull out your passport, you know, uh, my passport here, if you read that line there, wait a second, let me take this off so I can see. Whoa. <laughs> If you read the line where they say nationality, say, nationality, United, nationality, United States of America, you know, uh, born New York, New York, USA. <laughs> so my nationality is American. Well, they, they show it as American. You know, when they're calling you a line or something like that, you know, they, they say well, Americans over here, whatever have you. Now, if you are Pan-African, they don't say Pan-African is over here. What? That's not a nationality. Who are you going to, you know, and, and so they went this whole thing, or, you know, if you give, why why do they want to exclude reparations from from us? Well, they went to this whole thing about the resources come from Africa and everybody blah blah blah. The reparations should play to every black person on the planet. And I'm, like, I'm going like, uh? and then he went to <laughs> he went to this this this, 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 this well, let me get to the Marcus Garvey. I said no. I mean, you know, when he came, sure he helped the thing. He when he came in the twenties, whenever he came, and then he was deported in the thirties, whenever he was deported. But they deported him away because he's not an American citizen. You know, so no, he wouldn't get reparations. He'd have to go to England for his reparations. You know, and so the so the guy was still trying to be adamant and say, no, uh, you know, the, the, he didn't say they're separating as much as the reparations. It's like worldwide because you know they still get everything. All the materials come from Africa anyway. Blah blah blah. You know, I even explained to him that that you know the slavery was different. Slavery, the slavery. I said no, the slavery is different. Like for instance, in 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 in, uh, in Belize, slavery. You know, they're 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 cutting the mahogany trees. You know, and they the the the, the the masters, or whatever, have it, and those slaves are all cutting the trees and get it down, to, get it down to Belize City, get that rum, get drunk, and they say, "Oh, we got no money, get on back up there." That's a different kind of slavery. And then I said, yeah, I explained to him that Jim Crow didn't ex really exist in Trinidad, Tobago, or whatever, have it. Oh, and we went to this whole thing about apartheid. Oh, it was it was a mess, you know. But but the bottom line is the the, the, the Pan Africans they just don't think. And I was trying to explain to him. I said, "Well, uh, in fact, I gotta go. I'm gonna go back to it." I'm going to go back to him anyway. Why? Just because I feel like it. Because <laughs> oh, one of the things I forgot to neglect to tell myself, so, you know, Panama, where's your army? How are you going to enforce this? You know, where's your army? I, I, I tell, our, our constitution is United States constitution. Our flag is United States flag. I said, if if you come with your Pan Africanist flag or or whatever your your uh, your li Black Liberation flag, United States flag, say, oh, pff, knock that aside. But how are the United States going to knock their own flag aside? Can't do it. 
So I'm, I'm going I'm throwing all. So I'm hopefully the boy. The, I'm sorry, not the boy, but the man would be thinking. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll think for the whole day and we'll, we'll, all the stuff that I said because he's he's jumping all over the place. I'm, I was answering his jumping. So this is going to be. I, I tell you the truth. Okay, let, let me be honest. Let me be honest. I enjoy these little spar things, you know, and I actually go with them. Why? Because that's just the way I am. I'm a playwright, so I like to hear all the different scenarios, you know, and I can't hear it to this scenario if I'm winning, if I win the argument, so-called win the argument, or, you know, I just can't do it. So, so I, I, you know, okay, I be messing with people. This is true. And it's, you know, it's just my way because I'm, in essence, I'm an audio dramatist, you know, and that's just the way it is. Way it is for, for me, T from the Patterson's taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect from a, a stripped down reality of A D O S. That would be the American descendants of chattel slavery.